Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Recently I put up a video on my YouTube channel about being able to blend Universal Coating and Ultra Endurance Max Coat Consumer and Pro together. 50, so one part of each product, so 50% of each makes one concoction. Um, you mix it together as you need it. I only have a very little bit, probably an ounce in this bottle. Uh, that I mixed up you want to you want to mix it up per use so every time you're going to use it you will mix it then it is not stable together for a long period of time you have about six hours that you can use it once you've mixed it I would not use it I would discard it if you don't use it all so knowing how much to use is really important when it comes to not wasting product this uh, 2019 uh, Ford F-150 Shelby is uh, already polished prep polished with universal all-in-one uh, it is ready to accept the coating process what i'm going to do since i've already blended it together in this bottle and uh so september 1st 2019 you'll be able to access so on the site those products will just flip into the new versions of the products the universal coating and the ultra endurance max coat will just flip so as of september 1st we will be shipping the new tweaked versions and the only difference longevity is the same slickness glow everything is the same except for the application process we were able to change the formula just enough so that they were stable together for a short period of time and they will give you the durability that you already know and love about the regular versions uh, as far as the current versions go i should say um, it's going to be the same across the board except for we're instead of two steps instead of applying universal coating everywhere then going back behind it with ultra endurance max coat now we can blend them together as you need them and do one application step so as I said I mixed uh, about a half of an ounce of universal coating pro and a half of an ounce of ultra endurance max coat pro in this bottle shake it up real good and then uh, I've got a uh, mini sprayer, and then I've got a uh, applicator. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna prime the applicator. A Little bit much on there right now, but all we're doing literally is wiping it on. It goes on very even. Uh, we're gonna do a panel at a time and then we're going to hand, hand buff it off. So we're gonna let, we're gonna do this whole bed just like so. Doesn't take a lot. This whole vehicle we can do with a half of an ounce of these two together. Uh, whereas we were using an ounce of each before. So we're cutting down on product usage and we're dramatically cutting down the time it takes to apply these coatings. Um, I mean, just inherently, we're going around the car once instead of twice. That right there is time savings, um, a lot, big time, time savings. Uh, with the Ultra Endurance Max Coat being uh, part of this concoction, uh, I do not recommend that you apply the blend to trim, like this black trim here, the tops of the bumpers, even the Nerf bars. You don't wanna apply it to that because potentially it'll stay in the trim. I haven't had, I mean, here's the reality. I'll go ahead and wipe it on the trim for you. I'll put it right there and let it dry and we'll see what it looks like uh, at the end of the detail. And then I'll show you how to get it off if there's a problem. I haven't, I haven't gotten any of the combo on anything yet, but I do know that the Ultra Endurance Max Coat and Pro versions uh, will stay in the trim. So we've got this already applied. It started to cure already. So we've got, if you just come on with the camera and look, when it starts to look like this, check that area out. If the, the test to make sure you can wipe it off safely is to just wipe your finger down it. See how it's smudged a little bit in there? It's not quite ready to wipe off yet. If you can wipe it and it doesn't smudge just like that, 
that was a little bit of a thinner application right there than here but if you can wipe it with no smudge it's ready to come off but look how easy that wiped off how crisp and clear and dark and black this stuff leaves everything nothing to it no worry of high spots because of the application system that's why you wait for it to haze the only thing that haze is doing for you well is what it was designed to do uh, we use this application system on a lot of our products because there's no confusion about whether or not there's a high spot there won't be you can see where they're at and remove them with no issue so again the stuff just wipes right off Yes, you'll apply this combo concoction to the glass. I'll show you that real quick. Now, since this uh, vehicle is not in direct sunlight, it's overcast today, you could spray it directly on and then spread it out if you want. Um, I don't recommend this application method because the surface of the vehicle being too hot will definitely cause an issue with bonding and with curing so go ahead and apply it to this whole thing here this whole door a little goes a long way you got to make sure when you're applying the stuff thickness when you're applying it is not important it is not as important by any means as a even application making sure it's even is the most important thing when you're applying this stuff make sure it's everywhere and make sure you get the product on as evenly as possible without crazy high spots that's it so it's applied to that whole door it's been applied to that I mean just show them real quick just the gloss on that bed side versus this door that doesn't have anything on it this is all corrected well i shouldn't say correct we didn't do any correction all i did was hit it was with universal all-in-one so it smoothed it out made it look better and enhanced the gloss and the deep clarity that you get but just polishing alone doesn't do what these coatings do that bedside looks amazing now we're almost we're almost done with this. We can see a little bit in the corners where some of the heavier areas are not quite dry yet. So we're gonna leave that alone. In some cases, like this, where I'm not in direct sunlight, I'll go ahead and do a second panel. Because once I've done uh, applying it to this panel, I can go wipe that one off and then go straight back into wiping it off if that makes sense. But I just wanted to show you guys the application process and basically explain what you should expect when you're applying my one system coatings uh, on your own, especially if you're going to mix the two together. Now again, they're not any different than what you currently have. It's the same, the same benefits with the current versions as the new versions the same longevity the same slickness all of it's the same the formula didn't change we just we had to tweak the level of hardener um, that we're using so that both products work as one instead of two separate ones that have a chemical reaction if, if that makes sense Uh, if you do happen to hit the trim, you'll notice I'm not even trying to 
block anything from being hit. Uh, I also do the mirrors. So I coat my mirrors, the glass, everything. And so once that's done, you go to your next panel. This one here is done. Show, look, look, look how easy this wipes off. See that? All done. Look, no effort, none. Literally, I'm, I might be putting on one ounce of, I mean, very low. I'm not even touching this thing. Look at that. It's awesome how easy the residue comes off and how smooth this coating is. Every coating manufacturer has their quirks for sure. All the coatings on the market. We made sure to produce this without any major quirks. <laughs> I tested, tested, tested for a long time and now these products are amazing. So check out detailjuice.com for more about this product and my other products. If you have any questions for me, let me know. 813-846-4406. Thank you so much. Have a great day.